Yo, what's up buddies? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today we're trying to find out what the best spot to farm is as a Town Hall 10. People ask me this all the time, and I mean, I'm kind of wondering myself. You know, I haven't been down to Gold League in a while, so I dropped to 1,900 trophies, and guys, it has been sick here. It's been really good. I think you guys are going to agree, this is my new favorite spot. Let's check out some replays. So, First up, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Beaker, are you trying to bore us to death, man? What what the F is this? Well, we're going to speed it up here for you guys. But this is what you want to find when you're trying to grind your walls. When you're trying to really get loot fast, you want to find dead bases that are the same Town Hall level as you. And what do we have here? A Town Hall 10. Well, technically... A Town Hall 10. His base doesn't really look like mine though, does it? <laughs> Homie is a seriously rushed Town Hall 10, but that is perfect for us when you're farming. You guys know that is what you want to find. You want to find those rushed bases that have, hopefully have, maxed collectors and mines. Yeah. Alright, so we're just rounding up the base here, and obviously we're trying to save as many troops as we can. Well, maybe not me. Sometimes I waste troops just for the fun of it, but you guys should save as many troops as you can because then the next raid you'll be able to raid quicker for some reason i'm like throwing wall breakers in here for no reason just just ignore that just pretend that i uh used far less troops there because i didn't need to use that many anyways let's look at some more raids guys there is some sick ones i got today and this brings up a good point here sometimes you gotta take on storages you can't always raid inactive bases and uh well before we talk about that wait a minute this right here, this bugs me. Why sometimes do people put their town halls right next to the outside wall? I'll never understand it. I mean, you're not going to get a shield right there, buddy. We understand that you don't want a shield because you put all these defenses around it. Even though I didn't know the Tesla was there, I figured the Tesla was there. I mean, come on, man. You clearly don't want a shield, so you're not going to get one. What you are going to get is some level 40 heroes running through your base. Let's go in here, dudes. So we're uh, kind of dropping the giants slowly. If there's traps, if you know there's traps, if there's some funneling like there was there, drop them slowly. Clear the way, then drop your clan castle, then drop your spells once you get kind of in there. That's what we're doing today. But the final, the final part, the secret sauce, boom! There it is! Level 40 heroes. If you've never farmed with really high level heroes, oh my god, it is so much fun. So look, this couldn't have worked better. I mean, my king's going to the right, queen's going to the left, and they are level 40, like I said. I mean, there's nothing better than farming with max heroes. They just run through the base. And you guys may say, well, that's kind of obvious, but just trying to give you guys a little incentive to max those heroes. I know it takes forever. I know it seems crazy, but do it. It, it helps you so much. So uh, check it out. We're in the middle there. I just dropped a haste spell just to, just to waste a little bit of spell action there. I almost always use one spell, but I wanted to I wanted to use some dark spells today. Somebody said in the comments, or maybe it was on Twitter, said to me, use hay spells more. And I thought about it. That's an awesome idea, because I don't need dark elixir. I feel stupid saying that. Like I just realized that, but I did just realize that. So thank you to whoever whoever recommended that. So guys, before we go, look at the heroes, man. They almost survived entirely. They're almost full health. And that's one of the best parts of having max heroes. They are so rugged, they kill defenses before defenses kill them. Think about it. So guys, again, I know you're like, oh, bigger you trying to bore us to death again? Oh my god, this one's even worse. Well, just real quick, I want to talk to you guys about quick bases like this. So if you find a base that's got like 100,000, 150,000 gold, Bang it out real quick. Minimal troops. I'm talking 50, 60, 70 troops only. And then just peace out. Or I've shown you guys before, you know, you can just use your Arch Queen sometimes. If, if everything's like right in a row, just use the Arch Queen. Boom, 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 boom. And then peace. And I may have lost 30 trophies, but let's be honest, I don't care. I'm in Gold League, dude. There's trophies galore here. I mean, people are going to give me trophies on defense, even if I don't want them. So that's what's up. Good loot with only, I don't know, what is that, 80 troops there? Something like that buddies check this one out here now i recorded this amazing raid live i was talking live and everything but the mic was on mute typical typical beaker you know what i mean so we're gonna watch the live raid but i'm gonna narrate over it. and guys this was the best i've seen yet in gold one i always loved gold one but guys 
I think it's my new favorite at Town Hall 10 because this is a million loot right here. <laughs> this is no joke. So what we've got here is kind of a dead base, but it's, you know, the guy kind of seemed to quit recently. So there's still some in the storage. And you guys know what that means. We kind of have a choice. We can either rush in and get some of the storages. or We can go around the outside and get the mines, pumps and the drills. But we might have a third option. Since we're a Town Hall 10 and we have, well, max heroes and we have tons of spells, I think the third option is going to be three star this base. <laughs> so let's try that, guys. So I'm going to do my typical, you know, throw archers around the base, try to take out as many as I can, because if you can take out a mine or a pump with just one archer, it's pretty efficient. That is what we would call efficiency. So here we go, guys. We're going to start it on the giants. And because this guy has a funnel on the side of the base there, I want to go slow. I want to go slow until I get into the base. Once we open that wall, we're going to drop everything as fast as we can. Get everything in there with the heroes, clan castle, and then a rage spell. The only thing I'm really going to save, I'm really going to hold back on, is the goblins. And you guys know that. I always do that. I always wait until there's a straight shot into the loot. Then you drop those goblins. So here we go, wizards. This is going to be sick. We got the queen down, saving the king. I want to save the king because, you know, sometimes you get close to a three star, but not quite. Save the king. You might need him later. So look at those wizards in a rage spell. They are just wrecking. Wall breakers busting open all the walls. We're good. Who's who's going to stop us here? Uh, Nilly, not you. Sorry, buddy. Your dead base is not really going to stop us on this one. So I dropped the king over on the left. He's just going to help pick up a couple of buildings. I don't think he's going to die. No. Don't think he's going to die because uh, there's a pack of giants coming up right behind him there. So notice I used another haste spell in the middle. I think I'm going to keep doing this. Using a rage and a haste in one raid for me, that's not bad at all. That's not bad. It's a way for me to keep the dark barracks, uh, not the dark barracks, the dark spell factory moving. You know, I can keep making dark spells in there if I do haste spells over and over and over. And it's a pretty good spell for me to use. I mean, I don't need the Dark Elixir. I might as well spend it. You know what I mean? So stay, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to try to use that uh, in, the, in the future. Use a Rage and a Haste when I need it. But anyways, enough rambling. What just happened? We just got a million loot raid. Dude, I was so stoked on this all right dudes we're stepping into wall mode here you guys know i like to put on this base when i'm doing walls because i can just see them all i can see the count and i can also see that pretty loot before i uh dump it all into walls it feels like it goes so fast you know you just want to savor it a little bit take a picture even i usually do that i usually take a picture before right before i spend it because it just looks so nice all right buddies there we go four walls to level 10. This feels good, man. This feels good. Coming back up in the level 10 walls. You know, I mentioned this in the past, but I haven't done level 10 walls since I was a Town Hall 9 a long time ago. And they're, they're kind of fun. You know, they're only 3 million each, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it's better than 4 million. With the max walls, the, those max walls were real tough. I think we can finish these within a couple of weeks. I don't know. It, it depends. We're kind of taking our time and having fun, and I'm really enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. I, I really enjoy doing Town Hall 10 farming. You guys know that. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.